are some developments, some, some some improvements, but still it's not the I'd say it's not the tangible results. It's not the uh, level which we'd like to have. Like it's not the full representation of women part of our Georgia society. It's much lower than. Uh, 50 percent. It's in the parliament. It's only 15 percent. In the local municipalities, it's only 11 or 10 percent, which is quite low. And I think that women should be represented equally uh, in, the, in the political life. They have to take part in the political process, not only talking about the women's issues, but also to be part of the political discussion of any issues. So this is equal, and this is a fear. What can we do? So if we just follow the process, okay, we'll probably develop the situation step by step, but we need some kind of artificial intervention from the state. And this is a quota, in my understanding, which is uh, not the panacea, or the, and it's not the solution of all the problems, but this is an effective instrument to, to, uh, to jump and to make like very effective uh, development in a short period of time and to attract them, to recruit the women in the political process, to make them decision makers, and then uh, step by step develop the so more a dynamic process of uh, emancipation and political and economic <laughs> involvement of the women in all levels, in the grassroots levels, in central level, and uh, in, in all levels of political and social, political, uh, cultural life of the country. So I think that the political leadership from the top, we can just trigger the process in a, in a bit artificial way for the moment and to launch this process to give the guarantees for the uh, women, guaranteed seats in the parliament, in the local municipalities, because otherwise the political system at the moment is a men's world, let's say. This is a men's world, and men are uh, ruling this process, and of course it's important to have in the daily process, in all structures of the political parties, political systems, to, to, to have the women's, uh, women. Uh, and, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult process. It's not something like the. It's, it's more cultural issue, cultural, uh, cultural issue which should be changed time by time. But some kind of artificial intervention is important in order to to foster the process a little bit more, and to give some more opportunities for them. Otherwise, we have the quite strong political leaders. I would say, women political leaders in. But mostly they are staying in the civil society sector, not joining the political party, because political parties are men's world. There are rules written by, or non-written rules established by men, and there is a bit uncomfortable situation for them. So they, they hesitate to join the political parties. So we have to change cultural setting, cultural atmosphere in the political parties in order to give more space to women and to give them opportunity to, to be elected, to elect, and to, to, to run, the, to make the decisions in the political party. So we have to change our cultural, uh, say cultural atmosphere in the political process in general. So it's a very hard and long process, I would say. But we, we can do it. And, uh, and this is one of the main objectives of the, our Gender Equality Council, that we, from the parliamentary level, are talking about on the political um, participation, uh, of the women. We are in the same time working on the economic empowerment of the women, which is, in my understanding, important foundation for the uh, real uh, development of the women's movement in, 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 in country in general. Cultural changes, more dis discussions, more debate, discussing with the, all the sides, or most, most conservative sides, to discuss the issue, because with discussion, with debate, we are changing our uh, perception of the situation. Because I remember myself in the 90s, so I had absolutely different views, but being engaged in this process, I, I changed myself. I find the new realities. I saw that there are um, other uh, uh, other realities, and this is some cultural, traditional visions. It's not correct at the moment in the 21st century, especially. So, therefore, I think that we have to try to change ourselves. We have to show it the, the legitimacy of this new contemporary vision of, of, of societies, and uh, where the women's role is equal to the men's. And this is a fair society. This is, in my understanding, what it is.